to we go to a website like Red Spectrum. Red Spectrum will give you a business line of credit that reports to you know the, the credit bureaus from a business perspective. Mm-hmm. So all you're doing is it's kind of like a personal trade line. Mm-hmm. But instead of me going to personal purchase a personal trade line that's going to help my personal credit, I'm going to purchase one that's going to help me with my business credit. Mm-hmm. So they go to RedSpectrum.com. It's ninety nine dollars to start, fifty four dollars a month. So you get that. That's going to report a twenty five hundred dollar line of credit. Okay. Mm-hmm. So your business credit. So now look, you're building business credit, right? You can go to eCredible. eCredible is you can get for twelve dollars a month. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You got another business line of credit, another twenty five hundred dollar line of credit. I hope y'all got y'all got pins. Yeah, 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 I know y'all can hit rewind, but no takers on money makers. Y'all right. got y'all pins out. That's two. See? That's two. Okay. Like, and then once you really establish your business, you want to start monitoring your business credit. You go ahead and you create your NAV account, and then you sign up for NAV Boost. Mm-hmm. NAV Boost is thirty nine ninety nine a month. Mm-hmm. So with thirty nine ninety nine a month, they're also adding another business trade line to their credit profile for business credit. So now, even just with those three, you got three trade lines working for business credit, for business credit. So then now, just even with just those three, you you really want to have like three to four, so that way you can go ahead. Then on, then just to add a little sauce on top, but just to add a little season. Go ahead and <laughs> go, go ahead, look, go, look, look. Go ahead and go to creditstrong.com. Uh-huh. It's a tab at the top. It's gonna say individual, say business. Click on business. Go ahead and get that. Okay. And that's a fusion account. So what a fusion account for business or personal credit is, is I am going to make an investment to have a line of credit reporting. Then I'm also going to be saving a portion of that money as well. Mm. So when I get done paying off this, what's considered like a like a like a trade line term loan, at the end of it, I got money that's sitting there waiting on me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But then now I got these four accounts. Within 90 days or so, within 90 to 100 days, I'm going to have my 80 payday score. Okay. I can go ahead and I can take my automobile that was in my personal name, killing my debt to income ratio. I can transfer that into my business name. Mm-hmm. Now I can go ahead and qualify for my house that I didn't qualify for. Because you got the income ratio. Now, now I can go to the bank and get you a quick 15. You can go to Bank of America, get you another 20. Uh, you can go to I Think Bank in Georgia, get you another 20,000. Yeah, yeah. You can do all this. Now you go ahead and start that business. Okay. You go ahead and get your house. Now you're a homeowner. You got your dream car. You, 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 you save the money. Every month because look, the personal credit had you at nine percent, business credit got you at two percent. So I just saved you three hundred dollars a month on that right there. Mm. Then now you start your business, you ain't got no worries. Now you ride around look like a boss. You're not an entrepreneur with bad credit because most of them got bad credit. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 and they, and they, and they need yeah. help. They need help. Listen, you know I, what I, I mean? listen. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the Melanin Money Show. We got a real dope guest today, even though he was clowning my last name a few minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? We're get into a few it. seconds ago. A few seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Uh-huh. So we're going to get into it, have a good time with none other than, than our guy, Dion Coopwood. How you doing, man? I'm all good, brother. My guy. Appreciate you. My dog. You been, man? I'm all good. I can't complain. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about today's episode, man, because like you you bring the fire everywhere you go. I'm not sure today it's going to be no different. Hey, we're going to. Hey, you already know. Okay. Come okay. On. I know how you do. Yeah, but... We asked him before. Well, he actually asked us. He's like, how, like what y'all want me to do? I'm going to put it in. You know, so overdrive. I was like, no, we want all the sauce. Like, <laughs> yeah. we, want, we want everything you got. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now nah, it's going to be a good one, man. Well, just tell us a little, the people a little bit about. You know who you are. You know what you're all about. You know how you got into what you're doing now. Yeah, yeah man. So uh, born and raised in Chicago, Southside. You know, Southside yeah, Chicago. Side. So uh, Southside raised me. Um, you know, but right now Atlanta is paying me. Mm, <laughs> you know like what I'm that. saying. So I uh, just recently uh, relocated uh, my family to Georgia. Um, it's been amazing. And it's crazy because uh, recently I actually just put a post out and said, in the last 90 days, I've been able to accomplish more in the last 90 days than I've done in the last 30 years. Wow. That's heavy. Yeah. And because a lot of times, you know, people people feel like, you know, they think like, oh, well, you know, we do talk about, you know, our environment and stuff like that. Um, you know, the people that we surrounded ourselves with, but sometimes we need to like change locations too. Mm-hmm. But I say all the time, like, you know, the person is, is more important than the location. So like for me, you could drop probably any, any one of us anywhere in the world and we're going to get to it. Right. We're going to make it happen. Um, but, you know, more than anything, our, our surroundings and our environment, our family, our friends, they do cater to our success. But I think that sometimes when you change your, your demographic location, that can definitely help too. You know for sure, I mean? for sure, man. Yeah. I feel like if you come from the South Side of Chicago, you're so used to everybody pulling you down. Yeah. When you get in an environment, people lifting you up, like, wait a second, what is, what's going on? Hey, you're right, right. What's going yeah, on? Like, yeah, we, can, yeah. we can all make it. Like, we can all win. So, yeah. Because um, nothing changed for me. Like, yeah. again, like you know, you know, being a 
you know, great being raised in, uh, you know, being the oldest of four, you know, my mom doing a lot of stuff like that. And then on top of that, you know, me going through high school, going through college and trying to figure it all out, uh, being raised in the South Side of Chicago, you, there's a, a desire to be successful. But then at the same time, it's, it's difficult because, like you said, nobody is, is it, from where we from, you, right. there's not a lot of help. Right, right. You know, right. and so I've been I've been hustling though. I I've been grinding. I've done nothing different other than just change where I live. I just changed the zip code. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. I changed yeah. the zip code. I'm like, yo, I'm still teaching financial literacy. I'm still teaching personal credit, the business credit, the business. I was doing all of that back in Chicago, but then I moved to Atlanta and the opportunities were more warm and welcoming. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, hey yo, can I come on the radio show? I I tried to do that in Chicago. It just wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't welcoming. I come out here and I do job. You know what I mean? I'm doing all of these different, you know, episodes. Get on million dollars of a game. Do EYL Ash Cash. Like, that's crazy to be able to just change your zip code and then change your life forever. Yeah, and it's crazy that all them places are in Atlanta. Like, like Atlanta, Atlanta's See, like yeah. Like, I, was, I was just thinking about like that. Like every, yeah, because yeah, yeah, even yeah. next month we got our podcast event there. Then we got to go back for David Shan's thing, See, and yeah. then See. somebody else got a mastermind event. So I'm like, yeah, I just need a spot in Atlanta. You need a spot in Atlanta. Need a spot yeah. in Atlanta. Hey yeah. man, let's add it to the list. But we need add, a spot in Atlanta. Add, add it to the list, bro. <laughs> I, I've been trying to avoid Atlanta for so long, but at this <laughs> point, I just yeah, yeah. I mean, I might not move there just yet, but I'll get a spot. <laughs> I mean, it just makes sense. I'm always having to get a hotel, so yeah. So do you play moving Atlanta? Uh, shit you from a, a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset like what, what do you think the biggest the biggest contributing factor to your success is like when, when it comes to moving to Atlanta wow that's good um, again I, I don't feel like it was really me I, th- I think I think I did change a little bit because obviously if you change your environment you're like yo now I gotta really show up I gotta I gotta it's like you wanna it's like you almost wanna prove yourself wrong but then you wanna prove other people wrong too Facts. because when you start telling somebody you're gonna move and you're gonna go crazy, you're gonna turn up. Right. They looking for that. Yeah. Like everybody right. back at the crib is like, okay, you gonna be back. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. He'll, be, he'll be back. Yeah, or, yeah. Or like, we, we want to see what he really going to do. What right. is he, what he really going to do? Right, right. Is he right. really gonna go turn up? Is he really going to actually do? Is he or she actually going to leave here because they felt like this wasn't working for them? They're gonna go to us and actually have success. Right. 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 So for me, it was like I had that chip on my shoulder. I'm like, yo, I really gotta show up. I really gotta show up. So what it really meant, I had more of a sense of urgency moving because I'm like, yo, I gotta get down here now. I got more responsibilities. Mm-hmm. I, had, I, I put more responsibilities, not just... You and your family and your mom. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm with my mom too. So not only just more of a of, of mental from a success responsibility aspect, but also too like real financial more responsibility. I'd like double what I needed to pay to live. Mm-hmm. So like back in Chicago, I was paying X. I go here, now it's double. So now, like, now I got to put in more work, but then more importantly, I got to make sure that I show up and I show up. Most people... Um, they're not motivated by, you know, like the people that say like, yo, you ain't going to make it. You're gonna, like it's, they don't understand how much that, that fuels and drives me. This is shit. Yeah. Cause we got to understand like if there's more, there's, there's more people. There's nine out of 10 people that's root for you to fail. They may not say it, mm-hmm. but you can kind of feel it. Oh yeah. 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 For sure. You're like, it must be nice. Like, you know, it must like, be nice. Yeah. How, how you business? still got that little bit. Yeah, yeah. You be like, yo, what do you, what do you? You supposed to be my, you supposed yeah. to be my guy. You supposed to be, you right. know. I thought you was rude for me yeah, yeah, whole yeah. time. You like, yeah, I want you to be successful, but I really don't want you to be as successful as you're becoming. Mm, that's good. You see, like that's they, like good. they don't want you to really get to that level. Right. And so for me, like I just take that as motivation. Like when when I know that you know negative things are happening, or I'm in a I'm in a mode where I need to show up. I'm the guy that I'm going to show up. I, I've never been in a position where I needed to show up and I didn't show up at a at a whole totally different level. You know what I mean? Like I'm just that guy. I am that one percenter, if that makes sense. Yeah. Hey, no, big, talk, big talk your talk your stuff, man. Yep. Um so you mentioned you relocated your family as well. Yeah. Down down to Atlanta. Um so I guess talk- I could I could have came by myself, right? Yeah. Could, could I have came by myself? Yeah. Well, I guess it depends on the family dynamic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But so you so you relocated your family down to Atlanta, you're in a new city, new environment. Yeah. Um, did you, did, was there like a lot of pressure that you felt like trying to like, knowing that I got to make this work? Like one of what Neo's favorite quotes is like, it has, has to work, work it has, has to work. work. Like, yeah. was there, cause I, I don't think we, especially as men talk enough about like that pressure that comes with that. Like yeah. even with your mom down your wife, like everybody yeah. is depending upon you. So just talk about how you navigate that. Cause I don't think we get a lot of opportunities to really discuss like how yeah. hard we just got to do it. We just got to show up. Yeah. But I also know for some people like coming from South side of Chicago, wherever you come from, it could be like, well shit, no, that's hard. Like yeah. this, this is, this is all yeah. profit. This yeah. is child's play. I'm curious, you know, your perspective on that. Yeah. You know? And I, this, what I'm going to say, I, I know that Carla can relate to this. So for me, um, 
I'm the type of individual where when when pressure comes, it's kind of like a happy place for me because now I get to perform. Mm -hmm. So like I I get to give, you know, um, how do I want to put this? I, I get to in in the adversity type of moment, I give myself the opportunity to actually just show up and just really show out. Right. You know, like for me, opportunity means advancement. Mm -hmm. Like 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 that. That that moment where I'm supposed to probably go and break down and just like, yo, this is just too hard and yeah. uh, like, no, like advancement for me is really opportunity. Like I'm like, yo, I'm gonna go crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm going to acknowledge the 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 moment that I'm in and I'm actually gonna show up. But what one thing that really truly helps is if people don't understand that having people in your corner that really want to see you win can change the trajectory of you and your outcome because for me i had just joined an inner circle mm -hmm. i had just joined a mastermind so now i'm around all these high performing like entrepreneurs right. and, and so for me i was like yo i need to i need to be i need to be challenged yeah because yeah. like i'm i'm sitting here with people that's going through this i'm like yeah i'm gonna relocate i'm i'm having conversations with people that's going through the same thing i'm going through so now mm -hmm. i'm not alone yeah most people are going through journeys and they're going through life and they're actually by themselves right. and they trying to figure out why you can't achieve or accomplish success because one you ain't got a mentor or somebody that can navigate you through the process mm -hmm. and you don't have nobody in your corner that you actually can relate to that you can have a conversation say look i'm looking i'm ready to quit no no you can't quit you, you, right. we don't do that you know yeah, right, you don't right. have nobody holding you accountable you don't have no accountability partners and so from that perspective for me i'm like okay i'm ready to, i'm gonna relocate yes this is a lot of pressure yes this is going to be difficult but at the end of the day i'm going to figure it out like i said it has to work or it has to work like failure is it, it ain't that's not even on the menu yeah yeah like that ain't even on the menu is all i know is what on the menu is just winning <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. then when I turn the page, all I see is winning. <laughs> like, like, what you want to have for dessert? I want to win. Like, I, I, I mean, what we talk about? Like, yeah. they, and, it's, yeah. and, it, and I know that it made like people watching this. They say, "All right, that's cool. Like, it sounds good, yeah. but it's different when you going through it and you you got people stuck." With. Listen, man. I, in this transition, I've had I lost my last year. I relocated. Well, early this year, I relocated. But then, like right before I relocated, I lost my 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 aunt, my favorite aunt passed away. Sorry, my biological father passed away. You know what I mean? Like I'm talking about stuff in the happened. midst of in the midst of. The, 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 yeah, I'm talking about me and my wife sitting here like trying to search for houses and all this, and then my sister called me crying. Like I'm like, Yo, what's going on? Like oh, he had a car accident. We, 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 start, you, we get it out. Biological father gone, and I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm trying to handle stuff. And then it was like right before that, my auntie like like gone, and it's like I gotta be the person that's like gotta keep it all together and just like just stay focused because here's the reality, like adversity is gonna happen, mm -hmm. like the devil is gonna try you, like when, when you're moving in in a, in a in a in a in a moment where you like this is what I'm going to do and you're intentional about it. Mm -hmm. Like my what I would say, disruption always, always have to be when you're moving intentionally. Mm -hmm. Disruption so, follows so, intention. Yeah. Well, like, well, how do you think that? How do you think that? Relocating from Chicago to a better environment where you went from, let's just say, like my my last house was like a quarter acre of land. Now I moved from a quarter acre to an acre where I got a double mortgage, I got double bills. How do you think that this is going to be easy? If you want to afford this, you want this different. You think you're gonna just level up with no type of yeah. adversity? Mm -hmm. If it, if it was easy, everybody, everybody would do it. Everybody would do and it. I, and I love I love how you like like that that turn the page wins. So that that really resonated with me because like it's a story that says. You know, uh, it's a little boy that goes to his father. You know, he says, "Um, uh, this, this, no, this, this father tells his boy, his boy a story about fear and courage, and they both mm -hmm. live, they both live within us." Yeah. And he said, "Well, which one wins?" He said, "Whichever one you feed." Yeah. Right. So yeah. we both, have, we all have fear in us. We all have courage yeah. in there. Like, but if you just dismiss the fear and focus on the courage, yeah. you can take on anything, man. So I think that's huge. And, and, and I'm, and I'm gonna say this because this, what you just said, is gonna help somebody because this is what they have to realize, like you said. My mindset says faith and fear can't coexist. Mm -hmm. So we got faith and we got fear. Same thing like courage. Mm -hmm. So we so we got faith and we got fear. They can't coexist. Like you can't you can't do them both at the same mm -hmm. time. You mm -hmm. can, but you can't. Yeah. Because right. like you said, whichever one you feel. But faith and fear, like it's like it's like it's like oil and water. Them joints when you put them together, them joints don't mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you got to choose one. And if you're feeling fear, that means that you you are lacking faith. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So right. if you're feeling fear, that means you need to focus on faith more, and the fear will go away. Yep, right. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. The other thing that really helps with fear, I realize, is like is competence. 
right? Yeah. So it's like it's like if you if you go to the gym, you ever seen somebody like you need to go to box jumps, right? And like mm-hmm, someone mm-hmm. like they've never jumped on the box before, like yeah, stutter stepping, like oh I, I don't know if yeah, I can yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. But the moment you clear it one time, up down, up down, up yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. So half the battle is being competent, right? Doing the work, getting educated, right? So that you can get the information that's going to breed the confidence. It's the yeah. reason why people call them nerds, but like nerds are running the world, right? It's the reason yeah, yeah. why. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg is a billionaire, right? Because he has so much competence in the technology space to be able to build that type of platform. And so I think that's what a lot of people miss. Like, because in our culture, it was cool not to be cool yeah, at one point. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, it was cool not to be smart, I should say. Yeah. It was cool not to be smart. So it's like, oh, okay, well, if you're not smart, then you had you were cool. Yeah. Now we understand that those are the guys that are really running the world, yeah. now, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like we have to get educated and competent in what we, we do because that gives you... That gives you confidence. People ask me, like, when I go speak, like, how are you so confident when you mm-hmm. speak? It's like, because I only talk about what the hell I don't. <laughs> somebody invite me to talk about yeah. crochet, I'm going to turn them down. Right, <laughs> right, 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 right. Like, talk about what you know, yeah, and you yeah. know because you put in the work, which is a great segue to, so what is it that, that Dion is, is known for? Yeah, right? so, what is it that you but, Before we get into that, can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. Because like, yeah. once, 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 once he get his bag, yeah. it's over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Once he get his bag, it's over. So you got to get it out the way. Yeah, I got, I got, but, but like, I got, the people at home need this, and this is about in the room so I, I would give you my, my first story seeing you right so yeah. uh our mentor neo was having an event you know i'm going on the stage to get my award you know was the, was the one i came to um yeah the, miami, yeah, the, the, the okay. one in miami yeah, and what yeah. was that award? i need i needed to know what's the award <laughs> come on man i was gonna say so it was, it was, a, it was 100k in a month award right right yeah. right, right. Yeah. and I, I i remember i getting my award and after i got my award you like that man hey, man that's that state hey, amen that's that's motivational you know what i'm saying but in that mastermind bro my my, my biggest remembers of you like you know neo's giving us plays bro and like in the middle of him giving us plays, you ran the play in the middle of him talking. Yeah. Like you ran the play in the middle of him talking, and you closed like a thousand, three thousand dollars sale. No, 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 it was seventy five hundred. Se- don't ever play yourself. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad, my bad bro. My man at this event, Neil going in, bro. Yeah. The event was like two thousand dollars, right? You know, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Bro, he ran the play. Say, oh, Neil, hold on. I just ran a play made seventy five hundred dollars. Confirmation. And I showed it to him. Showed it to him. Yeah. And I was like, this man different. Yeah. And ever since then, so I, I, you always had it in you, but how to get in the room just changed everything for you, man. Because, because, yeah. yeah. bro, after that, I was like, this man, this man about to take off. So what it did for me, is I had never been in those type of rooms. I had never been in an environment where people were winning at a at a larger scale than me. So I was always like, I, my friends and my family, I was the go to guy. Mm-hmm. So I, and, and before Neil, I was probably making. I was averaging between maybe twenty to forty thousand dollars a month, so that's still great income. It's a great income. But but the reality is that I was the top guy. Yeah. I was the go-to guy. So yeah, people was, don't, don't you got enough, bro? Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like it, it was it was still kind of like weird vibes. It was like you know people would be around us, hang around us, and it was like we would pay for, like me and my wife we paying for everything, we taking everybody everywhere, we yeah. doing it, and it just wasn't. I had never seen none of the stuff that, and it's like I could not unsee this crap. I'm like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me majority of this room that I'm in, these people are doing better than me? And I just didn't. It was like it was a, it was a good, but at the same time, because I'm a, I don't like, I don't, I don't like, I don't like being loud. I don't like being a. <laughs> I know, I mean, like, what we, like I'm like I'm in this room, like what the, what the what am I doing in here? Like I don't like the way I feel with these people making more money. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. I want to win with, I want to win with them. So getting in that room, it allowed me to get exposed to information and people that I had never, like I never heard of the stuff that y'all was talking about. I was like. What is a digital product? I'm like, what is that? I never, I didn't know what that was. So up until that point, you hadn't had have a digital product? Up until that point, I had never had a digital product. I didn't know what, I didn't know about having a mentorship. I didn't know that I could have this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't know how easy it was to actually put these plays in motion. So while I'm taking notes, this is why I was quickly running plays because I didn't know, but I had already built relationships. I had already, I already knew that there was something that I was missing. And so by getting in the room, it exposed me to everything that I was missing within my business. And just for me in general, I always felt like, I'm like, yo, I know that there's another level. I just don't know how to quite get there. And so I had been like watching Neil for years. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, I'm going to go to that. And they was like, yo, it's like 2000 again. I'm like, I don't even care. I'm going to show up. And it was $2,000 for a weekend. Most people, they can't even get past how much it costs mm-hmm. to get into the room. Yeah, right, right. But, but I had got myself to a position where I said, well, how much is it going to cost me if I don't get in the room, like how much more money am I not going to make over the years if I don't get in the room? What's up guys? Congratulations on joining Team Black Wealth. But we'd be remiss if we didn't give you a uniform as an official player on the team. So head over to shop.melaninmoney.com and grab your official uniform for Wealth Builders of Color. We'll see y'all in practice. So like that $2,000 investment to get in that room, 
it like that investment, I made another investment by getting in that room because there was opportunity to join Neo yeah. and his mentorship. He said, I don't care what the price is. But I, didn't even, I didn't even care. Like I hit the wife, I'm like, yo, look, I'm gonna pay this fifty five thousand. I got to do this because if I don't, I know that if I don't pay it, I'm going to be still stuck in this amount of money because I don't have nobody mentoring me. I only know what I know. Mm-hmm. And, and, if, and if I continue to roll with only what I know, I can't grow. Right. So I got in that room, man, and I got around y'all and I was watching you do a hundred thousand in a month and then see Ellie talks money do a hundred thousand dollars in a day and then I seen Sonya and then and, and Rose. I was like, yo, they making too much money in here. Yeah. It, it was so wild about it is the exposure component, right? Because I'll never forget because I'm a you know, financial advisor by trade. And so I help people manage their money, yeah, right? Yeah, and so yeah. I had a client, my first client, one of, one of my first clients who were making, who were doing over six figures in a month. And I'm sitting back like, I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm like, wait, wait, hold on. Like, you're making, this is, this this month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 so, and once you see that, it's crazy how normalized, like Bro. you can't unsee how normalized it becomes, right? Yeah. To the point where sometimes I also have to check myself yeah. because I don't celebrate, I forget to celebrate certain things because you're so fixated on what you know is possible. It's like, yeah. well, shit, 100 grand, that's a month. Well, I need to be doing that in a day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. we were talking to Neil at that same event that you were at, um, that you joined the mastermind, and he was like, when he had oh, his yeah. first yeah. Uh, million dollar day, and one of his homies was like, oh, that's candy money. You only did one of those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, Million in a day. That's crazy. You know? And so it's like once you hear and see these things, and then more importantly, you see somebody that looks like you yeah, yeah, that's doing yeah. it. It just lets you know. That, I'm, that, I'm, that I'm, melanin. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It just yeah, lets you know. <laughs> you know, shameless plug. Right. Yeah. But, but it just lets you know how possible it is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that's why it's so important. That's why I love their brand, um, Athlete. What is it, athlete, entertainer, or yeah. rapper, uh, uh, entrepreneur? entrepreneur yeah, yeah. Because we are like we are that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's people that are like, oh, I can drive that, I can be this, I can do that, yeah. and I don't gotta be a, a baller. You know what yeah, I'm saying? But yeah. have the same type of lifestyle if that's what you want. It's yeah. just it's just super amazing to see, man. Get, getting exposed is so important. We we're at ClickFunnels. Uh, uh, I found like a live event, and we just saw what four hundred people receive a million dollar award. Yeah, I've never felt like a million dollars was less money than it felt yesterday. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's why everybody needs to get exposed, man. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. The brain, like George, as George always tells me, the brain is only organ without a disposal system. Yeah. Once you see something, you can't unsee it. Yeah. So everybody at home, it's your job to get exposed. Because once you see somebody, if you like us, once you see somebody doing, it, oh, bet they can do it. Like no disrespect, but like, I can, I can do it too. And that's the good side of ego. People always try to think, make, make it out like ego is such a bad thing. Right, you gotta have a chip on your shoulder, right? You can't, you couldn't ever have the Jordans or the Kobe's of the world if you didn't have that, yeah. right? You gotta believe that and that brother, he puts his pants. Look, it's only one way to put on pants. Yeah. And last time I checked, he ain't an alien. He ain't got no special. Like if he can, if he puts his pants on the same way he, I do, then it's information out there that I can acquire that will allow me to do. I don't know about his pants. He got zippers and shit. Hey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those are a little different. Those are, those are assisted. But oh, man. <laughs> the point is, like, we, we all are have the same opportunity, man. Yeah. And it's inspiring. And when you have that abundance mindset, you're not in an, in an environment where people are pulling you down or telling you, like, nah, man, you can't do that. Or they're scamming. That's the big thing. Yeah. And every you see somebody run it up, the assumption is always that they're scamming. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because it's so far out of your mental construct. Yeah. That it's possible that there's no way that they did that legitimately. No way. Scam stands right. are still confused about money. That's right. It. And I don't, I don't got time to be around confused people. Nope. You know right. what I'm saying? But well, on that note, now that we can get to it, but that was that was worth it. That was worth the same. Yeah, sure. Sure. yeah, yeah. But so tell the people what you do, man. Yeah. So I help individuals, entrepreneurs, and coaches understand financial literacy through credit. So teach them how to leverage other people's money, the bank money, okay. so that they can start growing, scale their business, and just really live the lifestyle that they want. That they need and that they gotta have. We all we all are searching for some type of lifestyle. Right. We all want to have some certain form of success. And even the, even like that stay at home mom, she still probably got in the back of her brain like that business that she mm-hmm. wanted to start. It's kind of like you know you always talk about you know the, the the graveyard is the probably the most valuable and more like because people die with they, they dreams they yeah. dreams mm-hmm. right. But you got to think about like if we was to go to a hospital right now and you would look at people that's probably like on a deathbed or six, 60, 70 years, like, yo, if you could do one thing different about your life, you still here, what would you do differently? Mm-hmm. They would say, man, I would go ahead and start that barbecue business, man. Mm-hmm. I would go ahead and start that catering service mm-hmm. because this is something that I dreamed about doing, but now that I'm too old, I can't I can't even think about doing it. I'm not physically possible able to do it. You know what I mean? So from that perspective, it's just, um, my thing is I'm like, I want to teach people how to leverage money. And most people, they can't, they can't attain it because they don't have the funds to do that. Mm-hmm. Like they don't. Yeah. And so what they try to do is they try to work a job 
And then you look up in two years later, they don't have the money because most small businesses, 34% of small businesses, they go out of business within the first two years due to lack of experience because they don't have a mentor. Mm -hmm. They don't right. have nobody coaching through the process right. and lack of funds. Mm -hmm. They don't got the money. Yeah. So they go to work and they try to take care of their family, pay the bills, but then they still try to put a little bit of money into their business. And then because the business is not picking up, it's not working, mm -hmm. then they end up going out of business because now they end up running a non for profit because it's they like yo I can't keep doing this. Yeah. So now they argue with the spouse. They got yeah. so it's like why not come to me and let me show you how to go ahead and get the personal credit together, mm -hmm. get your business credit established that for both of them go run up a bag. I can show you how to get hundred K in less than hundred days. Now you take that hundred K. That's a tagline for you. hundred K in less than hundred days. I don't, I don't say my buyer, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but show you how to get a seven hundred credit score in hundred K in less than hundred days. So then now you got good credit, you can leverage that, you can go ahead and go to the bank, get get the bag from the bank. Mm -hmm. And you and you can take that and now you can risk that. Don't risk your personal money. Yeah, yeah. Don't you're working a job and you bring right, home right. two, three thousand dollars a month. You know, and then after everything, all the expense, you got five hundred to a thousand, maybe left over. Maybe. And you trying to put maybe. that into a business that ain't ain't producing no money. Yeah. Why'd you just take the bank's money and it, and it all goes to hell in a handbag? You still cool because now you can just go ahead and just repay your credit all over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's a question. I'm gonna do some devil's advocate questions because I feel like there's a few people in the space, right, that talk about credit, yeah. and I think uh, sometimes there's a lack of context, right, when it comes to like what how you leverage the money. So. Yeah. When when you help people get this funding, what are some of the things that you coach them or encourage them to do yeah. so they don't find themselves in a situation where I just ran up a bag and yeah. now I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to pay yeah. it back. Like, what's some of the insights you give people? Yeah, no, I've had a lot of people that um, in this space, like you said, that will give help people get this money. But the problem is that they're not really being a real true uh, like mentor or coach. Mm -hmm. So my very first thing is if you're going to go ahead and go out to this money, I need you to have a, a, a business plan. Mm -hmm. Like you need to have some type of 12 to 18 month plan on what are you going to do with the money. But as soon as you get the money, we need to start executing on it. And the reason why is because majority of the money that we get, we're getting 0% interest for like 12 to 18 months. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get 0% interest for 12 to 18 months. But you get that and you don't have no game plan mm -hmm. and you sit on this money for six months or 12 months. It, it, now, now it's burning your pocket. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta it. It's you like, but then, but then you got to pay interest on top of the money that you're spending mm -hmm. now. It doesn't even make sense. So the very first thing that once a person get this kind of money or this capital, even whether it's twenty five, fifty thousand, I don't care what it is. If you're going to utilize this, you know, for business, like even your personal, like you need to have some real type of game plan on how I'm going to use this money and take this money and invest it in and allow it to make it more money so I can go ahead and pay it back. Right. And you need to have a real game plan. Don't just get this money and then blow it. Most people, they get money, they teach people how to get the money, but then they're not really doing that with the they money. Like, right, right. They did my job. Yeah. <laughs> they, they either blow it because they've never seen this kind of money or they may be in a position where they're like, all right, cool, I blew it because I've never seen this kind of money or I'm just going to let it sit here. Now they got, they got $50,000 and credit cards because they still scared. They don't know how to use it. Mm -hmm. So I'm teaching people the fundamentals of like, yo, like don't use debit cards. Why do we not use debit cards? Why do we use credit cards? What's cash back and reward points? Like how to travel for free and get like, I'm teaching all of these concepts. Mm -hmm. And so when people get in my program, like people really get in my program and I've had grown men and women cry to me. They say, yo, I didn't know that this kind of education exists. Like, and then for what I paid you, like this is not fair. I owe you. Mm -hmm. Like they be feeling like the stuff that I'm teaching is like, it's, it's it's crazy. So yeah, if you over deliver, bro, you'll be overcompensated. You know what I'm saying? Always, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. always. So give always. us, give us. I mean, you mentioned it's like six different credit places. <laughs> give, give us one of your favorite that you that, that uh, today that you that you love to teach your students. Man, give us one of your favorite credit places. Um, the I will say the probably the most sexy topic that people like the most um, is. But most people don't understand business credit and like how like how business credit and getting business lines of credit work and funding. Like no people they don't know how to start. Most people don't know how to start a, they don't even know how to start an LLC the right way. Right, 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 so I right. love teaching that. Okay. Then once I can help you like understand how to start your LLC, like how to build business credit, they think that that's like some like like unicorn. Like yeah, they think yeah. business credit like unicorn, I don't know what that is. Like just teach me. And once they think like that's it. That's yeah. it. So what, what, what's the yeah. steps? To, what's the steps to build? Like, if somebody, I, I yo, got my LLC, got my EIN. What are some steps that you would encourage them to take? I mean, I know the answer to this. Yeah, but yeah. What's, what's some steps you encourage them to take to, to get their business credit up? Yeah. So I mean, at the end of the day, we need to make sure that our business established right. What we talking about, like. Most most people say they're running a business, but they really are running a sole proprietor type of yeah. entity. Mm -hmm. Where they, they ain't got no articles of incorporation. Right. They ain't got no eight hundred number. They, they ain't got they no they personal home address. They ain't got no. They got they got they got no they virtual got the, address. The, 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 the own a job. job. Yeah. The, the, uh. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is George Atchampong. 
I'm Jacqueline Shattuck. And I'm Carter Cofield. And we are the founders of Melanin Money. And the reason why we started Melanin Money is because we know that there's a great disparity when it comes to building wealth among people of color. We have a tremendous mission that we want you guys to join, right? Every single year, we want to help at least 1,000 people improve their net worth by $100,000, which will create $100 million of new black wealth every single year. Can you imagine $100 million of new black wealth every year? As it stands right now, for every $1 that a white family has, a black family has a mere 10 cents to match that dollar. We want to increase the wealth in the black community so that we can have equal opportunities. Simply put, we're about closing the wealth gap, and it starts with you. So, see you inside. Hit me up, 91 at right. hotmail.com. Right. Email, like, come on, bro. It's all that. Grow up. I see somebody who's saying grow up. I see somebody got a business and they got a, some crazy email like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it costs $12 to yeah. get a freaking for the, the domain. For the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. Jesus Christ. So, all of the essential steps is there. We, we, we know, like, but like you said, like, people don't understand it. So, like, once they can go through those fundamentals, you know what I mean? It's just like, you got to have all that stuff in place. Like, yeah. once you got all that in place, then when you want to start building business credit, um, some plays for the people is, most people teach, they say, oh, you got to go through tier one, tier two, tier three. And ain't nothing wrong with that. If yeah. that's the way that they want to teach it, and and that's cool. But for me, that's a slow boat to China. We want to get, <laughs> I'm for real, I'm just saying, bro, like, we want to no. get, we want, I want I'm, 80, I'm, I'm, he's pulling, yeah. he's pulling, yeah. bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I want an 80 paydex score like yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I want to be able to go ahead and go to the car lot and, you know what I mean? You yeah. leverage my credit and say, yo, I want to put this in my, I want to put this in my business name. Mm -hmm. I can't really successfully do that without a payday score. Mm -hmm. So if I want to do that like yesterday and not tomorrow, then what I need to do is I need to build business credit now. And I'm not going to just say, yo, just go get a net 30 and a, you know, the, that, that you line, the quill. People right. teach you line, the quill, the yeah, Granger, yeah, yeah, everybody's there, the go to the, yeah. go to the shell. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me let me get, let me get some plays. Can yeah. I get some? Like, hey, you ain't listen, battery's listen. not so separate. Uh, <laughs> no, it's included today. <laughs> so you know, like we can go to we go to a website like Red Spectrum. Red Spectrum will give you a business line of credit that report to you know the, the credit bureaus from a business perspective. Mm -hmm. So all you're doing is it's kind of like a personal trade line. Mm -hmm. But instead of me going to person to purchase a personal trade line that's going to help my personal credit, I'm going to purchase one that's going to help me with my business credit. Mm -hmm. So they go to RedSpectrum.com. It's ninety nine dollars to start, fifty four dollars a month. So you get that. That's going to report a twenty five hundred dollar line of credit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your business credit. So now look, you're building business credit, right? You can go to eCredible. eCredible is you can get for twelve dollars a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You got another business line of credit, another twenty five hundred dollars line of credit. I hope y'all got y'all y'all pins. Yeah, out. Yeah, I know y'all can hit rewind, but no takers, I'm money makers. Y'all better right. get y'all yeah. pins out. That's two. That's two. Okay. Like, and then once you really establish your business, you want to start monitoring your business credit. You go ahead and you create your NAV account, and then you sign up for NAV Boost. Mm -hmm. NAV Boost is thirty nine ninety nine a month. Mm -hmm. So with thirty nine ninety nine a month, they're also adding another business trade line to their credit profile for business credit. So now, even just with those three, so you got three trade lines working for business credit. For, for business credit. So then now, just even with just those three, you you really want to have like three to four, so that way you can go ahead. Then on, then just to add a little sauce on top of, just to add a little season. Go ahead and <laughs> go go ahead, look go look look go ahead and go to creditstrong.com. Uh -huh. It's a tab on top. It's gonna say individual say business. Click on business. And go ahead and get that. Okay. And that's a fusion account. So what a fusion account for business or personal credit is, is I am going to make an investment to have a line of credit reporting. Then I'm also going to be saving a portion of that money as well. Mm. So when I get done paying off this, what's considered like a like a like a trade line term loan, at the end of it, I got money that's sitting there waiting on me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But then now I got these four accounts within 90 days or so. Within 90 to 100 days, I'm going to have my 80 payday score. Okay. I can go ahead and I can take my automobile and my personal name, killing my debt to income ratio. I can transfer that into my business name. Mm. Now I can go ahead and qualify for my house that I didn't qualify for. You got the income now, ratio. Look, now I can go to the bank and get you a quick 15. You can go to Bank of America, get you another 20. Uh, you can go to I Think Bank in Georgia, get you another 20,000. Yeah, yeah. You can do all this. Now you go ahead and start that business. Okay. You go ahead and get your house. Now you're a homeowner. You got your dream car. You you you, you save the money every month because look, the person who credit had you a 9%, business credit got you a 2%. So I just saved you $300 a month on that right there. Mm. Then now you start your business, you ain't got no worries. Now you ride around look like a boss. You're not an entrepreneur with bad credit because most of them got bad credit. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And they need help. They need help. Listen, you know I, I, I mean? listen. 
I'm gonna give you a flowers real quick because I done heard all sorts of business really? credit presentations and yeah, yeah. I ain't never I never heard none of that. I you told you said. different. And, I, and I'm and I'm yeah. and I, you know I'm tapped in. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I, I am not a fluff guy. And I and I am I am not a dim guy. I am a him guy. Like, <laughs> yes, I, I'm, man. I, I'm, like, bro, like I'm not a dim guy. Man. Like I don't want to do what's yeah. already been done because now I can't be different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we don't need two of the same person. One of y'all, one of y'all not needed. Bro, I'm a contrarian. Like I, I'm different. Okay. I'm, I'm not gonna teach the same. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, what, what's cra- what's crazy, bro, is what you just said. First of all, that was that was that was ninety days. That that whole play ninety days. So yeah. for, if you start what he just said now, By the January, end of the, year. End, of the end of the year, end of the year before Christmas, you straight. Right. I should be Yo, some give DMs. yourself the yeah. gift of good credit. <laughs> I should be getting some DMs like thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure y'all y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment on this episode, and sit and follow this man because yeah. he just gave y'all more game on business credit in in a three minute time frame than, than some of y'all coaches are giving y'all in a whole program that y'all pay for. Man, shit, man, listen. So. <laughs> I'm giving it all away. Y'all just ask the question. <laughs> Man, so let's just play a game here. Okay, cool. So imagine you just getting started. Because here's the biggest thing. People get intimidated. Like, well, that's easy for you to say now. You've been in the game. You know how to do it. Yeah. Let's imagine you just getting started, right? Yeah. Like, you had nothing, yeah. but you now under, you're now about to learn the power of business credit. Yeah. Right? What game would you give somebody from zero to their first six figures on how they can get there, that they, they literally know nothing and they're just getting started. Like, what will be that process? So they, so they don't know nothing. They don't understand nothing about credit. They want to go from like making, like maybe working a nine to five to their Correct. first six figures entrepreneur. Correct. All right, cool. I promise. And I just said this: the lifestyle that they want, which is a six figure lifestyle, mm-hmm. it starts with credit. Mm-hmm. Like, like everything that I do is is surrounded with credit. Like, if I want to get some funds to be able to put it in here. Let's just say for marketing, like my American Express Go, I'm going to use that because that's giving me four times the point when I run ads. Right. right? So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use the bank's money mm-hmm. to run my ads. Mm-hmm. And then that money is going to not only make the money back to pay the bank back, but then it's going to put money back into my business account. Mm. But then the cool part about it is I actually just got some reward points for spending money that I was going to spend anyway. Yeah. yeah. So then that's now we're in this hotel. Right. Yeah. So then now I take this money and I can convert it into, I mean, well, if you convert it into like cash, it's, it's a lower value. But if you do the hotel play, you're getting like two times the points. Mm-hmm. If you do a flight, you get like two, to, two and a half, three times the points. Mm-hmm. If you just, you know, utilize it for, let's just say straight, take my points and give it to like a marriage for like a flight. I'm going to get double the point value. So now... The money that I would have spent trying to take my family on vacation, I don't have to pay for that anymore. It's paid for itself. So I'm, I'm saving money on that as well. So again, we just it, it all dials back to credit. So once you can understand how credit works and you know how to leverage credit, you can literally, you can get to six figures faster because a lot of successful entrepreneurs, they got good credit though. Yeah, you know? facts. And, they, and then not only that, but they're leveraging the good credit. Mm. Like they literally, they say, yo, okay, cool. Like you think, look, like think about Grant Cardone. He's, he's utilized his personal business credit. He started with that in order to get his first, let's say, property. Mm-hmm. And then it just keep happening. So now the banks are believing in him from a credit perspective. That he can now get loans for for at, at a larger rate to go out there and pay us back, right. and then actually that, that's all it is. They don't know Grant. Yeah, they, right. they don't. They don't know me. Right. So what, like when we when we go out, think about this. Let's think about this. If I want the car that I want to drive and I want the house that I want to live in, if I don't have that money physically sitting in the bank, I gotta utilize credit in order to be able to attain it. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing with my business. If I don't understand the business, I don't know how to get started, I don't know how the funds for it, why don't I leverage my credit to start my business? We just don't understand this stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, facts. And, I, and when I ask people, like, what stop you from starting a business? 90%, 90% of people say funds, and they think it has to be theirs, right? And like, how many opportunities are you missing when you don't have business credit? How do you pay for your mastermind? A credit. <laughs> That's what I Bro, did. I, 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 like, if I didn't have business credit, put it like this. Joining, joining one of my masterminds has made me a half million dollars, right? If I didn't have that $50,000 to join, I missed out on a half a million dollars because yep. I wasn't ready. Yep. How many business opportunities are you missing out on yep. because yep. you're not ready? Like, you can't, you can't afford to not be ready when the opportunity presents itself. That's a fact. It's all, I promise it's all credit. Like it's it's all credit. Like there's there are more people than not. So thirty three percent of Americans have bad credit. That means that thirty three percent of Americans are denied just opportunity to live the way let's just say we live mm-hmm. six seven figure lifestyle. They 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 can't they can't obtain it because they don't have good enough credit to be able to go ahead and get funds 
to borrow to go ahead and make an investment to a mastermind, mm -hmm. make an investment into a even if it's just like you had a business, say, yo, bro, I want you to partner with me. I don't have I don't have the the, the credit to go ahead and get money to leverage that. I don't have it. Mm -hmm. Like when I got, first got started entrepreneurship, not a lot of people know this. I just started recently telling because I feel like it's important to say. When I first started in entrepreneurship, this was seven years ago, um, I literally left a job with no plan. I didn't have no plans. I didn't have, no, I didn't have nothing. I left and I was like, yo, this can't be life. And I was making, making $130,000 a year working four days a week. And I was just like... Dang, I can't vacation when I want to. Like, even when I go on vacation, it feel like I need a vacation for my vacation. Like, this is this is whack, yo. I'm like, I'm out. Left that gig. I utilized forty thousand dollars I had in credit to to get me back to pay my bills. I'm talking. I'm paying child support. I'm paying rent. I'm paying mortgage. I'm, I was paying everything on credit. And I'm just like, yo, I know this business got to work. I'm door knocking. I'm selling life insurance. I'm doing fi retirement planning. I'm trying to do everything. But the first four to five months, no money came in, bro. So I leveraged my credit cards to pay my bills. Like I, I literally did, then when money started coming in, I just paid them back. Cause I was like, okay, cool. I got the minimum. I knew I could come up with the minimum. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah. I, I gotta eat this interest because I ain't got nothing right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but if I didn't have that 40, what would I have did? You have to go back to work. I would have had to go back. I, I couldn't, I, <laughs> I was out. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is people don't know how the economic system works, right? So it's like the entire economy, the entire world is, is predicated upon like the middleman. Mm -hmm. So even if you think about the bank, Right. So the way the bank works is we go to work. Well, not we, but people go to work. Yeah. Right. Then they deposit their money into the bank. Right. Then what does the bank do? The bank says, I can't keep it here. That's useless. Right. So then I'm going to then loan that money out to yep. somebody. Maybe right? back Maybe. to themselves. Maybe back to the person who just gave them the money. Exactly. Back. In the form of back. a credit card, personal loan, home yep. loan, whatever. But even if even if I go take the money that they give me to, that I borrowed to go buy a house, the person who sold the house, what are they doing? They take that money and put it right back in the bank. Yeah. So the bank has figured out. I don't even got to have the bank. The, the bank's money is not even the bank's money. Yeah. They tricked us into thinking that it makes sense to keep our money there from a storage perspective. Yeah. Give us 1% interest, maybe, right? Maybe. It's rate, rate, rate rising a little bit because of inflation. And then they go out and make 10, 10x on our money. Mm -hmm. Right? But people don't understand that. But when you can understand that, you can become the bank. You can leverage the bank's money. You can get in the game, but you have to be educated. Have to be you plan yourself. If you let the bank use your money to make money. But, so most people are letting the bank use their money mm -hmm. to make money, but they're scared to use the bank's money. What's going on, guys? I'm George. I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Carla. And we are your money mentors. But today we wanted to talk to you about a really special feature, Financial Flicks. Can you imagine an entire on-demand library of financial content across three main categories, wealth building, entrepreneurship, and personal finance, so that you can take your finances to the next level? Guys, when you replace entertainment with education, your life will change forever. Imagine replacing one hour of Netflix with one hour of financial flicks. Imagine how much further that could take you to your financial destination, and we have the perfect library for you. Yeah, so if you're ready to financial flicks and chill with us to put more of your energy into education, then join us in the club. We can't wait to see you there. See you there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, you know, don't use your money, use the bank. I don't want to use the bank's money. The bank's using yours. Yeah. It's crazy to think like if somebody renting a house, right? Somebody went out and got a loan for the house mm -hmm. and you're renting it from them and you're paying the money that they put. You paying them their money back right. that they borrowed from the bank with some extra gravy on top, right? Don't you? Don't that make you feel like, damn, damn? Right. What, what, how can I? How can I be you? Yeah. You come here every month and collect money from me. Yeah. How can I be you? And that's a problem. Nobody questions that system, right? Yeah. It's like people just uh, comply. It's like get that's on it. the other side of the transaction. That's it. Your debt and your expenses and somebody else's passive income. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Every time you you pay in debt, every time you buy, whatever it is, it's somebody else's passing yeah. income. And, and, and the problem is because we just wasn't sat down at the mm -hmm. round table. We wasn't taught how vital credit is. It's kind of like right. you got like two ads. You got like credit and you got like life insurance. These two should be conversations that should be taught because credit is how you like establish wealth and then life insurance is how you keep like generational wealth going. Because mm -hmm. I got when I leave, if, if, if I leave and this thing shut down, what? Then what? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be able to lead this, you know, as 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 the form of some financial needs to be able to protect that legacy. And so these things are not being talked about in certain communities where they need to be. So this is why I teach how to get the personal credit together and you know things of that nature. And I, I got a very sexy concept because again, I don't teach the way normal people teach credit. Like they do the factual dispute, they do all of this. Some people do illegal stuff, but I'm, we're not going to get into <laughs> we that, that we, 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 we don't want y'all show to get all kind of laughs. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It'd be yeah, crazy, yeah. but 
I teach a concept called Metro 2 Compliance, and not a lot of people have heard about it. Like, even when I host my class and stuff, and I go somewhere and speak for free, I say, how many people heard of Metro 2? 90% of the room say, no. I hadn't heard of it until I met you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, then, and then the other 10% say, yeah, from you. And so <laughs> I, I, I'm literally educating people on, you know, a compliance standard that was put in place by the credit bureaus in 1997 that states that if, if items on a consumer credit profile uh, does not meet the mandatory and legal guidelines to be reported, then that means that it can't be on my consumer credit profile. We're not talking about what's being reported and fighting the factual nature of it. Right, right. We're talking about the ability uh, and the factual nature that it should not have even made it there because mm -hmm. you were in compliance. So if there's any deviation from the standard of compliance, then it should not be there. And, and then that means that you got to delete it if I call you out on it. But if I don't know Metro 2, just like if I don't know credit and I don't know how money works and I don't know. If I don't know the laws and I don't know the rules and I don't know the regulations that are in place to protect me. If I don't know, you know, like you said, like what we don't know is our biggest expense in life. Like that's our biggest expense. So if I've never heard of Metro 2 and I know how that works, then I can't use it to get a better chance at having good credit. So I go ahead and run these plays that Dion telling me. Facts. You see what I'm saying? So again, the biggest expense is what we don't know. So y'all, we have to literally tap in with people again. This is like being in the room. You said, you never heard it to me. So we met in the room. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. We met in the room. And so now you give me information I never heard from a tax perspective. Right. I'm giving you stuff from a credit perspective. I mean, one day we was, we was on a call or something and we, you ran a play and got like 19 grand because I, he was like, yo, bro, that stuff you talk about. It worked. Like it worked. Yeah. Like, it worked. Yeah, like, it actually worked. Yeah, like yeah. just having a conversation, 19,000 the next day. I'm like, thank you, bro. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, you did. At least I can do. You know what I'm <laughs> but, but, but that's just the truth. And so, you know, I, I just like putting out that information to be able to help people because, again, it's just credit is it's that segue to that lifestyle that we want and people just missing that. Yeah, man. One thing you taught me, bro, um, that is, I think it's revolutionary, but two things you taught me. Uh, when we, we talked about rent a second ago, right? Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm a financial guy and I was, you know, not getting my rent put on my credit score. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So can you explain to people that they can get their they, they can get their rent payments put on their credit score to improve their chances at getting the home that they want to get? Yeah, yeah. There's a credit card called Built and it's at builtrewards.com and when you apply for that, that's a uh, it's a card that's backed by Wells Fargo. And so by applying for that and getting approved, they have it where literally it's integrated in a app where they got it set up where you can pay your rent with that. You know what I'm saying? You can get cash back and reward points. Mm -hmm. So you're get like you're they're gonna get you, you're gonna be able to get your rent paid on a credit card, okay. which your credit card reports to the credit bureaus, obviously. Right. And then it, I mean you're gonna pay your rent anyway. Yeah, right. He wasn't yeah. not gonna pay his rent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he was gonna pay his rent. He but he just he paying it with cash or with let's just say debit card money in the bank or account router number and that there's there's no value with that. Right. So like here's the concept. When we use our debit card and money straight from the bank. We're not building credit. We're not getting cash back reward points. And then our money in the bank is exposed. Mm -hmm. If somebody has my account routing number or they got my debit card number, I'm exposing my, my hard work and capital. Mm -hmm. But if I get the built rewards credit card, now I'm I'm literally building credit because now I'm getting credit for my rent payments that I never would have got credit for. Mm -hmm. I'm getting cash back. So every so every time I pay my rent, now I'm getting money back. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like so it's just a concept where people just need to understand it. And that that card, it, it changed the game for everybody that's paying rent. Right. You never was getting credit for this. So now when you go into a home ownership, now you got accumulation of points mm -hmm. that can help you furnish your new house. Ooh, we're talking spicy now. Man, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now your credit score is being built up. And I'm never, I'm never, I wasn't even exposing my real capital because this was all on a credit card. So at the end of the day, it's putting people in a position where now they're getting credit for their rent. They're building up cash back and reward points. Right. Now they could go ahead and become a homeowner and say, yo, look, my rent's been reported. I'm good. I'm good. But it's built in the app. So you don't really got to do nothing but like upload your documents, put where the payment need to go, and it's going to make the payment for you. Mm -hmm. And it's this is a rent payment. It's just like for people that want to pay their mortgage payment or pay their car payment. Can I get this sauce too? Oh, okay, please, cool. Please. So, you know, so, so people not get they like, yo, I can't I can't pay my credit card with a uh, I can't pay my car note or my mortgage with a credit card. You use plastic, it'll pay it for you. You just hey, upload. Go, 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 go over that. Plastic. What is that? What is that? What is so it's that? it's it's a it's a website that everybody can go on to get a free account. Okay. P L A S T I Q plastic.com. And you can upload your credit card on there. And whatever credit card you upload, you just like kind of like 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 a Chase Zill or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Or like the payment system. Yeah. So you can literally upload the bill on there, the account, the, all the numbers and stuff, and it'll pay whoever you got uploaded on there straight from your credit card. Now that one does have a convenience fee because built you ain't got no convenience fee. Mm -hmm. that, they just pay their rent, but that's cool. Yeah, sure. But this one got like a two point nine percent or something like that. But that's cool. Yeah. Like I wasn't like I wasn't getting credit. Like yeah. I wasn't yeah. building no credit. I was I was paying money straight from the bank with that. Mm -hmm. But now again, if I'm getting points back and I'm building credit, this is cool. This works for me. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you find a yeah. if you find a rewards point, 
if you find a reward system to use for all the money that you're spending, like like think about this, entrepreneurs, we probably spend ten thousand a month, twenty thousand a month, thirty thousand a month on expenses, right? And if you pay, if you get two percent, three percent cash back on that type of money, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's right. paying for you. That, that's 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 you can reinvest into, that into your business. That's paying for your vacations. That's paying yeah. for things that you want to do. It can be given back to causes, man. Yeah. And we spending the money anyway. Not why why are we not getting rewarded yep. for spending the money? Like think like think about it. If we just keep the math simple at a hundred thousand dollars, somebody spend a hundred thousand dollars a year. Normal cash back reward with credit cards are giving like two percent, yeah. so that's two grand. Yeah. But like if you get Discover It, Discover It, they got promos where they give you up to five percent, so that's five grand. So let's just say we get between two and five grand a year. Mm-hmm. That's your car note. Yeah. That's a free car that's a, for the year. Yeah, yeah. for the yeah. perspective. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's perspective. Or or maybe one to two months of free mortgage. Have yeah. you have whatever? Have you, you, whatever you yeah, 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 yeah. It's still something free. But yeah, you, but but again, but this but this information education is now changing people's financial situation. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's Listen, good. Carl, I'm going into mental roller decks of, 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 of top episodes, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 nah, man, you, you provide us some really, really great insights, some yeah. stuff that we've never heard, which I think is great, man, because sometimes yeah. a lot of stuff just gets regurgitated and yeah, yeah. repackaged. That's a whole other conversation for another day, but yeah. nah, we appreciate the insight, man. Yeah. So, and you teach, you, you teach this, right? I teach all this in my mentorship program. Okay. And you, do you, you, have, you say you have a webinar that you do? Like that. So yeah, so every, uh, every Sunday, so if they're watching this, this Sunday coming up, they can actually tap into my uh, free workshop. Yeah. So free workshop on Sunday. I'm um, pretty sure y'all probably put the link in the description. We'll whatever. The but people so need. I mean, this is and I, yeah. I've done classes with you. This is the the, the tip of the iceberg of sauce. Yeah. This is yeah yeah yeah. So I mean, in that workshop, I'm literally going to expose them on some very good information, which is how to obtain a 700 credit score, how to obtain 100k in credit, and how to make 100k all less than 100 days. All in less than 100 days. All less than 100 days. I'm crazy six or seven figure earnings, man. <laughs> this ain't this. I'm not, and I'm. And this is not a joke. All you look, information on me, execution on you. Mm, period. That's Say it. less. So obviously, this is the Melanin Money Show, and our goal is to help a hundred thousand people of color achieve their first one million in net worth. Let's go. So, so, what does being a melanin millionaire mean to you? Oh man, um, it means that I can actually be um, an opportunity, an example for the next person to become a melanin millionaire. So like a lot of people, they don't think that it's possible when you see somebody that kind of comes to where you come from and look like you, mm-hmm. it kind of gives you that motivation and inspiration to actually say, you know, I can actually do that. So for me, mm-hmm. it's really about not just really like me, it's more so for like, you know, my family, like my mm-hmm. wife, my kids and stuff like that. And just showing them like, not only can I do it, but then I also was able to inspire and motivate other people to actually do it as well. Because it's not about like what you leave people, but it's, it's more so about like what you leave in people. Like mm-hmm. how, do they, how do they feel? Like it's like it's cool to leave my family money. Like I, I, they gonna be good. But it's just like, how did I? What did I leave in them? Right. Like, like what is my like when I gotta leave? What does my wife say? Like my husband was what? What was I? Right. My kids say daddy was what? What? What was I? Right. And then the people that may have interacted with me at some point in time, what do they say about me? Like, like how, what does that legacy really look like? So for me, mine is more so about just really impacting people. That I, now nah, look, I love money. I ain't. <laughs> we we, 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 we gotta skate past that. But you know, I wanna, I wanna. While I'm getting to the bag, I wanna show people how to get the bag as well. Mm. That's 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 what it means for me. So you know, I'm just hoping that on my journey of life, uh, that I can just you know motivate and inspire as many people as possible. So. Yeah. Well, I think you motivated and inspired us. Uh, no, nah, y'all and, motivated and inspired me too, for and, sure. And, and the people at home, man. So again, where can they find you on all social media platforms, man? Yeah, Facebook, Dion Coopwood, um, Instagram at Mr. Phenomenal Power, um, TikTok as well. And uh, you can uh, check out my website as well, www.dtduniversity.com. Because, man, I just want to help people. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm creating my own university. I mean, I feel like we, we are entrepreneurs. Yes. Entrepreneur Absolutely. educators. And, and we are just here to... Show people that yo, we ain't gotta go to college. Like it ain't, it, it ain't gonna do it. You gonna go there four years? Yeah, spend a hundred grand. Hundred grand. Can't write it off. Yeah, you know, all that. Now yeah. you're just trying to just pay a, a university back. Yeah. And then the dude who taught you, he he ain't no, making he, no, he, he ain't, ain't making no money. He ain't, right. he ain't making the money you want to make. Crazy. He, ain't, he ain't living like you want to like, live. Like the teachers won't get no bread. Like they say, you supposed to you supposed to go and be with people that you that that is performing at the level that you want to perform at. Right. So if I want to be a millionaire, why would I go to college? Ain't no, ain't no ain't million no professionals. <laughs> Dude, well, how you going to teach me? You finna teach me how to make, what, $40,000 a year and be in debt right. just like you? You went to college to <laughs> accumulate the debt to become a professor. Right. And now you teaching me. 
so that you can pay off your student loan debt. Right. You about to teach me the same thing. That's a fact. Nah, I'm good. That's a fact. I was look, Carter can tell you. I'm we good. Did, we didn't did like at least two, maybe even three episodes on this, or at least I mentioned it. Where I'm like, the the education industry, the trillions of dollars that are in that industry, all of that is going to trickle down to us. Yeah. Right. Because people are going to wake up and it's like, okay, well, why in the heck would I pay fifty, sixty, seventy, a hundred thousand dollars? Go to this school, and I can get a specific, tangible thing that's gonna help me make money the same year that I purchased, the same month that I purchased the information. Yeah. All that money in the education, it's not, it's not gone. It's yeah. just gonna be trickled down Man. to the educators. So people better wake up. Listen, I'm t- and, and when I say that, honey, I'm to my part time. I ain't to my full time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep your keep your job. Keep keep that safety net. That's cool. Yeah. We're gonna run up a bag over here, yeah. and then we're gonna lead that, and then you're going D- to double down. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah. 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 yeah if yeah. y'all didn't take away no gems from this episode, that's y'all fault. Cause <laughs> this thing was jam packed with gems. I, I should have. You know, I'm gonna go back and watch and listen to it. Yeah. And I'm probably gonna be at the webinar on Sunday too, y'all. So let's make go. sure y'all tap in. Let's go. Yeah. Our man gave y'all a ton of game, and uh, yeah, man, let's let's keep going. Let's keep winning. Let's Until the next episode. Peace. Let's go.